lying over here. Don't you ever miss this? What we could have been to each other. Having a real relationship and kids. I had, I had Jim. No, I mean real relationship. Jo, let's be honest. What, what you and Jim had together was wonderful, but wasn't it really just a substitute for something else? Is that what you really think of for all these years? Hmm? You think Jim was just some kind of some kind of substitute for real love? Hmm? Jim was not a substitute for anything. Do you understand? And there is no substitute for Jim anywhere. And by the way, what is so real about your relationship with Richard? He left you after nine years. Jim and I were together for 16 years, and if he hadn't died, we'd still be together. The hell is not real about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know how much the two of you love each other. I, I suppose I'm just jealous that you and I never had that kind of love. Actually, I, I've never had that kind of love with anybody. I didn't think Richard ever loved me, except for the way I looked, and... Play. I don't know, you raise a child and love it, and then when they're old enough, they just leave. Charlie, there's nothing wrong with your life. You just like feeling sorry for yourself. It's one of your great pleasures. Uh, and, it's, and it's not one of yours? You're, you're as pathetic as I am. Feeling sorry for myself is definitely not one of my well, great pleasures. Well, it's not one of mine either. I don't like feeling sorry for myself one bit. I tried to hold on to Richard for so long, even it was obvious to everyone but me that it was over. And now, and now Clay has grown up. I mean, what, what am I doing here, Joe? Tell me, what? You have plenty of friends. You'll be fine. Yes. yes! I have friends, but none of them need me, and yes, I have you, and if you weren't such a goddamn puff, we could have all been happy.